Okay, interesting look to this place. Yeah, but once again, just initially going down and going through another door is what it is. All right, let's see here. Open up. Big open area this time. And yeah, there's the dogmatic tower that I heard so many things about before. And I guess that one IGN page when I click dogmatic tower was probably referring to this one. I probably include like the Modab passage ones, I would imagine, right? All right, I'm ready. Is it just you on your own? If so, great. Looks like this will be interesting. Let's go. Three I'll take you on. Yeah, th there's a moral snake. That isn't listed on this, is it? Nope. It sure isn't. All right. Well, maybe I can click the uh thing where Bob here, that one IGN page where there was the dogmatic tower. Yeah, dogmatic tower, natural dances, vehement idol. So, let's see here. Dogmatic Tower is weak to electric. Its minions, the immoral snakes, are weak to ice. Okay, it would have been nice to still have meat through here rather than what's his face at the end. Do I want to restart for that? It's the grid, I will. I'm taking out what's his face and I'm putting in Mitsuru. The guy whose name I'll get down here eventually. Just bear with me. That's what I shall do. Did I save after I put on Akihiko's new equipment? Also, I'm at 82 hours on this game on Steam now. After all the erase timelines and everything. I don't remember how many hours I had in Persona 5 on the Switch. Like 200 some, I think. A lot. I don't really need the network functionality. It was a lot, a lot of hours. It's a lot, a lot of hours going into this game. Do be the case. All right, let's see here. Get me in there, Chief. Get me in there. Shinjiro. That's his name. Just making sure. Yeah. Okay, save again because it's really quick anyway. So, yep, resume from there. Go through the door. Wait, that's... Oh, God. Okay, not resuming from right where I left off. Okay, whoops. Okay. No, use the teleporter. And I can't even select 144 from there. It's only 143. So I assumed if I resume from where I left off, like the furthest I've gotten, it would have brought me to here. But I guess that's not how it works. All right, this way. Yeah, the blue eyes white dragon is reacting. That special card I have in my pocket. Yeah, this is the squad for this, I'd say. Then run down a pointless passage to another door here. This is what I do. This way, proceed onward. And we go and fight the dogmatic tower and his sneaky snake friends. Yep, I sure am. Okay. Poison mist. Yikes, I won't exactly be able to pass along that way. So electric and ice, I'm fairly certain. May as well use an item for everyone then, right? For all allies. Oh, I don't have a whole lot of them, do I? I mean, I could start just passing this around for those that are going to want to be able to shift. Who's going next? Sneaky Snake. I don't know which one of my allies is going next then. I'm not entirely certain here. I mean, I can't really sickly get as many SP items, but nah, these aren't exactly super cheap. Whatever, let's just um assume that Akihiko is going first. I don't know. That's what I can do. Ow. Virus Breath. Ow. All right, so then I do this. May as well damage them all a little bit, right? All right. But yeah, I can't exactly shift. Um. Mmm. -hmm. Just for like the main big boss, so he's not hitting as hard, I guess. Right. 
Might make sense. Car, Karn. Okay, well, that's fine. Here, we do this. That one will be reflected and it's fine and I'll just do it again. I resist it. That's a-okay. I don't get a one more. Oh, I do. I just can't shift it because I'm all poisoned and stuff. Okay, so do that. There we go. Knock that one down. More damage to that one guy. Ooh, inflicted with freeze. That's nice for me. And then I may as well lower your defense, right? May as well here. Okay, and then more poison damage with all the additional actions. Okay, so I mean like... Sure, this I guess. And then... Yeah, do that. Ow. Because those are my main two important ones. Ow. Now I'm at the point that I basically have to do this instead, unfortunately. Or else I will die otherwise. Ow. Alright, the sneaky snakes are getting back up. Inflict with poison again. Well. I guess I'm doing this. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill me. Because, like, yikes. Um. Yeah, about that. About that, though. So, um, yeah, still at it. I got through this section. I'm doing the monad doors now that I didn't do before. Where's the all allies ones like this? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Some kind of at that point. Maybe I will do a cure all and then just clean up. That's what I'll do. Because yikes. Okay, on you. And eh, that's fine. Because then I'll do this. Is what I'll do. And then maybe I'll use an item. Because this is probably a. Uh, yeah, it is indeed. Because this is probably a situation to call for it, honestly. Yeah, I've decided that I will. Don't remember this one? Well, it seems a little painful. Okay, and then like... You're the one that's weak to electric. So if I take out my scarf guy and do this, now that your shield is down, and then we can all out attack and see how much damage this does? We shall see here. Maybe take out the sneaky snakes, hopefully. Okay, not quite yet. The sneaky snakes actually have quite a decent bit of health. This sucks, man. They're going next. Um. Okay, do this. All right. Please don't screw with me, sneaky snake. Ow. At least that's the person with the most HP. Do it on me again. Ooh, I know she would be weak to that. Thank goodness it missed. All right, so then do this. And because they're both not poisoned, we can shift to one another. That's what we can do. Here we go. Like that, and then go ahead and hit everybody. Don't worry, I am keeping an eye on my health. Don't worry, I am. All right, all out attack, even if it's just with us two or don't. Okay, well, I could heal again, or just pack more damage onto the snakes. More snake damage. Maybe it'll dizzy them. Okay, we're getting there. All right, I'm grateful you're doing that because it never does all that much damage back to me anyway. All right, and I guess now I'm going again. I'll take a little bit of damage back, but not a whole lot. There we go. Okay. And then we go ahead and zippity zap like this. Get out of here. I don't think I'll be able to all out attack. Yeah, no. All right. Yeah, I can't shift. I can just do this. Get out of here. Okay. Be gone with you. Shuffle time. Um, I don't have you yet, so I could always just get you. 
Um, poison mist. I don't have that yet, so I'll unlock it. So yeah, let's unlock the new things first and foremost. That's what I'll prioritize. I think poison is scary. It continuously depletes your health. Make sure you always have some way to cure it when you explore Tartarus. But on the flip side, it could be a potent strategy against our enemies. Eh, try using it when you get the chance. Be gone, indeed. Um... I can probably get the chest before I have to fight the next boss if it works like the previous ones, but I don't really feel like running all the way up the stairs again because I'm lazy. So I'll just return to the entrance and hopefully the piece of equipment that that gives me isn't something like super massive impactful here. Because when else do you really use SP anyway? So just do that. And then, yeah, look up the next one in advance here because that's the strat. Which apparently didn't like you saying the naughty word thought. Doesn't surprise me. All right, so there's Dogmatic Tower, then it's Natural Dancers. So the Natural Dancers have no weaknesses. They're resistant to fire and electric and will null wind. Okay, so maybe I should just go all in on like some physical stuff in that case this time. So this time my party is definitely going to have Shinjiro, but also, I don't know, I guess maybe? And then uh, apparently there's a couple of them. So yeah, the physical attacks that hit everyone might be the way to go this time around and we're just kind of here on support just for safety's sake yeah i'm thinking something like that probably makes sense here okay no do not resume from there that is not going to do anything for me okay so this way i run let's see here let's see these natural dancers what I can do about them. We do have a couple max theurgies, and I could use those. Yep, jump to our furthest point. As one does. Yeah, that fist looks so goofy. <laughs> yeah, we cannot insult the hot tub thoughts. That would be terrible. That would just be absolutely terrible, wouldn't it? It'd really be nice if it let me get the thing and then give me a prompt for return back to the front. I assume that's a weapon for Koromaru. What assume here? Okay. So apparently there's going to be a couple of these dudes here. Powerful enemy spotted. Please be careful. Yep, I will. I'm ready. I saved not that long ago, so it's no big deal. No matter what shows up, I'll do this. So yeah, two of them. So natural dancers, they, yeah, resist fire and electric null wind. So there's no point using Yukari's things here. Um, She's just here on support. Yeah, don't use any fire or electric. Okay. So yeah, you're mostly going to be on support with these things later. For now, I don't think that I'm going to be able to inflict poison. Maybe, like, poison really sucks, but maybe we should try using it on our foes sometimes. Like, whoop de doo it's totally going to work. Watch it actually work. Oh, I actually got one of them with it. Wow. Well, I'm really glad you did that to the person that doesn't even use SP. Like, thank you for that. Because holy crap, that is the metric shit ton of SP that you drain. Like, what? Excuse me? Here. Let's go ahead and bloody charge. That's our next thing hits really hard. Oh yeah, I could have used Silphic Aura here. Because I think I have enough for this one and the next one. And those are the last bosses that I face. So, I mean, there's basically no reason not to. I'll see. I could see if I get a one more. By doing that. My chance of inflicting down. Is there much reason behind getting a one more, though? I would be able to boost everyone's attack afterwards. Screw I'm going for it. Rather right, than going for the ice one. Let's see. You live by the RNG, you die by the RNG. Oh, I did knock one down. Would have been cool if I knocked them both down. But now, I think I'm going to go over to Black Frost. And I'm going to... Wait, we already have attack up from my thing we bought before. But I can lower my foe's defense, right? is the case like that's still worth it i have someone for that right oh maybe i don't right now uh whoops all right maybe there wasn't really much point with that i should have gone for the other thing after all okay well this is probably gonna be my best damage here that guy's lower health so just go after this one first and that one's poison so i mean yeah so do that and then Wake Pierce damage to all foes. That takes the most HP. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. See how much damage it does. Of 
course it misses that one. Oh, well. Um, don't really need a poison mist. Again, I don't think. Um, don't really need to do that. I may as well do this. It's not like he needs his HP to be low to charge up his Theurgy because it's already charged up. And uh, then it charges up Yukari's Theurgy, so may as well. Please no, please. Okay, it's not too important there either, but like that is still incredibly scary. Okay, that's fine. I really don't like how much of my SP they can get at once. So that's just the one foe. Whereas I could go with both if I did the other thing, whatever. I'll just see if I can potentially kill, kill one of them. Or at least come extremely close. And then it'll be a lot less painful to deal with. Like the thing that sketches me out the most is the spirit drain. Yep, I can kill, kill one. Okay. So I mean like, here, let's do this. Now he has no SP. It's not like he can use it anyway, so I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, so then go ahead and do this. Please land this time. Nice. Please don't spirit drain from anyone. And if you do do it again, here, I'm doing this before you drain my SP. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't need any of these theurgies for the final one, but we'll see. We'll see here. Okay. I'm really, really glad that you drained SP from the people that really don't care. That was probably some pretty good luck. Um, do I have any spots? I don't have evil smile yet, so I'll get that. And I can use you for fusion, so hey. I'm pretty sure I have spots. Balloon of unity, the uh, the best kind of balloon. I mean, annihilate. It's kind of unfair how the enemy could drain your energy. Even though we won, this could affect our progress. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I got really lucky and you drained the SP of people that don't really care that much about it. Like, I guess cares a little bit about it, but we can expect to encounter another powerful enemy up ahead. If you think fighting might be too risky, then I suggest retreating. Maybe treasure chest. It'd be really nice if I got the treasure chest. Then it's like, would you like to retreat now? Yeah, also. Yeah, that's a pretty big increase there. Magic plus three and shift boost. Ooh. All right, that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and heal with someone else then. Like, um, yeah, you can go ahead and heal then, kid. Yep, just making sure there. So then the final one here is going to be the vehement idol. Vehement, however it's pronounced. Um, vehement idol has no weaknesses. It is resistant to ice and will null dark. And is it just one? It looks like it's just one. So I may as well just stack up as much damage as I can. Um, and probably not bring Mitsuru, since she won't be able to do- Well, she'd be able to use her physical attack, I guess. Resistant Ice and will Null Dark. So I could go with, like, the same squad, is what I could do here. Maybe restore a little bit of Igus' HP if I did that. HP, uh, SP. Just because her, uh, whoops. Yeah, I still have one more slot if I need it. Raise Party's Defense could be handy, maybe? Probably just do that. Maybe that once. I don't know. That's not super important on you. I could just bring someone else completely. Like, it's not super important to bring you specifically, right? Um, definitely bring you, but I like having you at the end. Um, I can decrease my foe's attack like this. Um, resistant ice and will null dark. And then I just take less damage. Is the case. I can't really complain about that. So maybe I'll do that, and you're also like a backup healer here. Yeah, sure. How about I do this in that case? Like, whoops. Erect a barrier, erect a barrier, nullify stat buffs. Here's a secondary revive. I could go with the kid. I haven't used the kid all that much, and he is higher level than Akihiko. Sure, let's try that. I'm going to organize him a little bit better here because his thing is a little bit of a mess right now. So... Yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Sure, let's try using the kid, because I'm not using the kid all that much. Sounds fine to me. Do I need any... I'm probably good on the SP front. But the buffs and stuff that I do, maybe I'll be on the safe side and just use one thing there. 
All right, let's see. Let's see if I can clear this now too. And then I wrap up the stream. It's 2.30 in the morning. I've been, by the time I'm done with the stream, I'll have been streaming for eight hours. I'm currently at seven hours, 54 minutes and 50 seconds. So like, yeah, definitely no Unicorn Overlord tonight. The uh, Persona 3 stream here is taking me a bit longer than expected. You sort of play Sukari with the kid in your normal loadout just for like a healer. Meh. I still like having Yukari here. Is the case. Spam heals, get theurgy. Oh, there's memoir one. A being interfered with time and space named Shadow. We research a time manipulation device with its power. My first grandchild, Mitsuru, comes to mind. And what will become of the Kirijo group once I die? Time manipulation device. So they were trying to research time travel or just time manipulation in general. And that led to like the dark hour here where it's like between time by color shorts. I'll figure out who that's for some other time. Because, yeah, the dark hour is kind of like a manipulation of time and all that. All right, last one. Last person I need to beat. And then I can go to sleep. Oh, I should have used my thing. My whatever. Maybe I'll just clear it anyway. My navigator thing. Gosh dang it. Here, let's try it out of curiosity. My Sylphic Aura. I should have done that. I forgot. I'm dumb. Let's see. All right. Well, it gave us that anyway, which Sylphic Aura would have given me because the party already starts out with attack up. So the things I can't hit you with is just ice and dark. Is all it is here. Heavy light damage. Well, Pell's a physical attack. I don't know if it's primarily physical or magical. Um, Pretty much a straightforward magic wielding tank. Okay. Maybe I'll try doing some of this. You know, I knew from the previous story cutscenes that the experiment they were doing in the shadows was for a time machine. Oh, well, I guess I probably forgot. <laughs> probably did, but yeah. Well, I guess I was an almighty attack, so I couldn't reflect that one. Yeah. Um. Here, go ahead and do this. Make sure that we're all topped up and in an okay position. All right, bloody charge. Oh yeah, I need to rearrange some of your things. Keep bloody charge at the bottom. That's what I gotta do. Okay, so I mean... Yeah, all our things are up here. I don't think I can decrease your defense. Or attack or anything like that. I can do those debuffs. Um, You're not gonna be doing physical things, I don't think, here. So yeah, I may as well just go for damage here, right? Wait. You might actually be doing more damage now. Because your magic attack is higher, and you do have both the same things that Black Frost does. Okay. Let's give this a go. Oh yeah, Ice is the one that you resist. I forgot. I'm a little bit silly sometimes. Your thing was, uh, once his SP is less than half. Um... Now, I can purposefully get his SP less than half. Like, it's getting pretty close here. Um, it's a game over if I fall, so just, like, here, do that. Keep on burning it. Maybe I do one more or something like that, and then uh, my SP is less than half, and then I get a Theurgy. Get to see his thing. Okay, yeah, we got some damage back that way. Nice. I wonder if how much damage I'd be doing just by hitting this dude with magic. Like, would it be more worth to, like, put up those barriers? Because I was doing, like, 230-ish per barrier. Like, that was pretty good, honestly. Here, do this. Charge up your Theurgy more. And get, like, some good damage that way. Alright, let's see it. Yeah, Heat Wave is probably gonna be my best go-to. Let's see how much it does. 395. Okay. Well. Just out of curiosity here. Wow. I should be using Spirit Drain more in battles, at least against like randos and stuff and have to use less items along the way. Never have to restore my SP with items again. Just other party members. Yeah, sure. I actually get some good damage out of this and by lowering my SP, I'm about to get my Theurgy up. Like right now, right? No, really? I'm surprised. Oh, I should have given it to my guy. I didn't realize I was weak there. Ow fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. 
All right. I'm going to have to put on a fresh bloody charge now. So let's go ahead and do that. Another one. And then get up, please. Thank you. And yeah, I'll be on someone else here anyway. Like, um... Yeah, I don't have to worry about fire here. I doubt that guy is light. Um, I guess I'll just do this in that case. This'll be what I do. Okay. Here. And then, uh... Sure. Like, I actually got some good damage out of it. So, do that. Don't think I need to conserve your SP for, like, further and Tartarus or anything. Yeah, you're... TRG gauge never like majorly jumped up or anything. Here, may as well go for this. No one's in desperate need of a heal. So this is the perfect time to use it, right? Is it charged up? That works out amazingly for me. Yeah, I passed the eight hour mark for how long this stream has been ongoing. It's been a lot of long streams of Persona 3 lately. Because I am intent on getting through this game. Alright, I do have the bloody charge now. Let's see Deathbound. Let's just see it, because we haven't seen it yet. Ooh, nice. I don't remember how much the other one did before. I do not quite recall. Well. Boom. How funny would it be if the boss bl blew himself up? Oh, well, we can just do this and finish him off. Dude, severe light damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. Have we seen his theory yet? Just in case we haven't here. And he's going to finish it off. I don't think we have, have we? Spears! Kaboom. Banished to the Shadow Realm. Or the Light Realm or something. The strength of our hearts. Used all teammates' theurgy. I just got a Steam achievement. Um, how many people have that of curiosity? 29.9% of players have this achievement. Okay, most of the ones have been like around 50% that I've been getting. I've been surprised that that many people have gotten that far. But yeah, less than a third of players have actually used everyone's theurgies though. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I can get that for Fusion there. I don't care. I don't have that yet, so I'll get it. And sure, because it's probably going to be a decent amount of experience from this one, right? So may as well. There we go, level up. Another level I gain before the next boss. Shadow eliminated, good work. I don't have these shadows of a gender or whatever, but I won't punch a punch. Anyway, never piss off a woman. Especially ki- uh, I didn't phrase that right. Forget it, let's move. Seriously, just forget about it. Yeah, I guess that's probably what happens. People have like a go-to team and play with it throughout. Like, I'm much rather kind of mixing things up as I go along. Plus, it feels more advantageous to do so when there's like different weaknesses and stuff to exploit. And so there is advantages to like changing up my squad along the way. Plus, it feels like more of a requirement to play into those advantages when I'm playing on merciless difficulty. I think sticking with one squad and only using them throughout the entire game would make this kind of difficult on me. Looks as though you defeated all the shadows in this area. All I have to do now is open that treasure chest. Let's do it. Yep, let's do so. So I get a new special card here and expand like my card capacity. Let me think. I don't get the big deal about these, but you're going to open that before we leave, right? Yep. That was the last thing I needed to do this stream. Tower Terror Book of P. It seems the Tower Major Arcana card can now appear during shuffle time. Tower, all of your current personas will have their stats increased by one. Okay, like, if there's someone that I'm really trying to make strong, that'd be helpful. But, you know, my personas are not exactly going to last forever, so that one isn't that permanent of a buff. Um, by acquiring the Book of P, the number of Major Arcana cards attainable in a day increased by one. Nice! Another Tarot card. Are these hinting at something? I mean, each one has a certain meaning, right? Maybe I'll look into it later. Uh -huh. Looks like a dead end. Want to head back right away? Yes! Yes, please! I'm done! It is 2.40 in the morning. Time to leave. It's the Book of P. Is what it is. All right. Well, made some amazing progress this stream. This eight-hour stream. We sure do, don't we? But yeah. Pretty much all the Persona 3 streams that I'm doing a whole lot lately. Well, I guess I am doing some short ones if I have, like, some gap time during weekdays. But outside of that, when I have a lot of time, I do commit a lot of time into this game. Because... I want to get through it. I mean, making good progress here. And we're at the end of September now. I did my Tartarus run. Everything is great here. Let me go ahead and switch back to my, uh... No, what the heck? 
my go-to here of that. There we go. And then I'll also really quickly do this. Of, yeah, you can go ahead and heal there. Sweet. And I would go and play around with, like, some Persona Fusions. But I already do that a whole bunch off camera anyway. So, like, there's nothing that I desperately need to fuse right now anyway. So just, like, look, everything is on today now. All these save slots are on this Tartarus trip. And then one just before the Tartarus trip. Amazing from all the times I've been saving. Um, yeah, I'll just do my Persona Fusions off camera because... It's not like I have anybody that I need to fuse Personas to face right now or anything like that. So I'll just, like, run around when I have some time here again. Get some more monies and get some more Personas, do some more fusions. Maybe I'll look up a fusion calculator and start filling up, like, some of the lower level slots that I missed along the way. And kind of treat it like I did Persona 5 there or something, if I can be bothered. And we'll see. This Tartarus run took a lot longer than expected. I'm really glad I didn't save it for, like, the last day before the boss. Because, yeah, it's already 2.42 in the morning. Been shooting for 8 hours, 5 minutes, and 42 seconds. Um, but yeah, let's see here. I just felt like I wasn't strong enough before. It was the kind of thing where the first one that I did when it, I initially unlocked it just wrecked me so hard that I was like, okay, clearly the game must intend for me to come back and do this later. So I figured I would come back and do it later. And now that I'm like a couple doors ahead, I was like, okay, well, I'm probably more than strong enough to do the first one at least. And then looking up their actual levels online, it's like, okay, I guess I can just do them all. So I just... After doing the first one, I did the second one and saw the level of the third one was recommended level 47. I was like, okay, I can do that. So then I just did them was the case. But I thought that they were too strong for me before is what it was. So yeah, I'm glad that that's done now. So further Tartarus visits, I'll be able to get a whole bunch more major arcana cards and it'll be amazing. So yeah, I probably should have been doing those earlier, but Oh well, better late than never. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned into another stream of Persona 3 Reload. My god, I really hope that this doesn't end up being a 200 part series. When you count the DLC, I wouldn't be surprised if it did turn out to be. Honestly. Uh, man. But I'm making progress. I'm making like some good progress through this game. I'm getting there. I'm going the hell asleep. I'm bringing my truck home tomorrow. So, yeah. Until next time, take care. And see ya.